Okay, so we have question two. We are now at question one. So we move to question two. So we have question two. It states that at a certain time each year, this question was given as a practice question. Let me, just, let me state it. At a certain time each year, the scaling down of weekly production of sun hats starts. A. If weekly production is 190,000 hats and is reduced by 15,200 hats each week, use series to calculate I, the weekly output after 10 weeks of scaling down. I, I, the total production during that 10 weeks. B, calculate the weekly reduction. If the production should be scaled down from 190,000 to zero in 12 weeks. Okay, now I was given a question like this. How would I be able to know that with this particular question? I'm going to use geometric progression or I'm going to use arithmetic progression. Geometric progression, there is what? Common what? Ratio. Arithmetic progression, there is what? Common difference. Now, is there any percentage in the question which is going to give me a ratio? No. So, meaning I wouldn't be able to use geometric progression. Once I'm not able to use geometric progression, that means I'm going for the other one, which is what? Arithmetic what? progression. So, meaning with this particular question, we're going to use what? Arithmetic progression to solve for it. Are you good? So, not geometric progression. Let me clean this. So, let's start. Solution. So, we are using what? Arithmetic progression. Which is AP. Okay, so now let's deduce the information. At a certain time each year, the scaling down of weekly production of sun has starts. A. If weekly production is 190,000, that's our first term. So we have this. First term is noted by A. 190,000. And it's reduced. Is reduced by 15,000 to 1. When we talk about reduction, it's what's negative. I got it's reduced. This side is reduced. The question is still that 180,000 and it's 15,000 to 100. No, he said, and it's reduced by 15,000 to 100. Meaning that the common meaning that the common difference in the question is what minus. 15,200, but not what? 15,200. So we have that side, common difference. What is the D? Minus 15,200. Take note, whenever you see a reduction, it's negative. Reduction is negative. Additional. When you see additional, it's positive. Take note of this. Whenever you see reduction in the question, it's negative. When you see additional, it's positive. Okay. So we are done with the information on the side. Now, with the AI, calculate the weekly output after 10 weeks of what? Scaling down. So, question A. We are starting with the AI. Calculate the weekly output after 10 weeks. So weekly output after 10 weeks. So now I have the formula to A plus. It's what weekly output, not total output. So the normal output is given by Tn. It's about A plus to bracket N minus 1D. Where the first term is given as this. 190. Thousand. Now, the end term was given the question, the weekly output after 10 weeks. So the end term is what? 
10 weeks so n is 10 now common difference minus let me squeeze so that i can go here so common difference is minus one five two zero now tn weekly output after what 10 weeks so like i can do it this way a one ninety thousand plus n ten minus one d minus one five two zero zero sorry minus one five two zero okay so we have this this is giving me one ninety thousand plus one minus ten is giving me nine minus five two zero so t ten 190,000 9 times minus 152 9 times minus Okay, let me take something Sorry, the zeros are 2 Sorry, I forgot Let me correct it The zeros are 2, sorry for Let's mistake, the zeros are 2 So let me correct it That's 2 zero. sorry Okay, so 9 times minus 1 Okay, let me do 9 times minus 1, 5, 2, 0, 0. I'm getting minus 1, 3, 6, 8, 0, 0. So, C, then it's giving us, let me see the answer I'm going to get. 190,000 minus 1, 3, 6, 8, 0, 0. I'm getting this. I'm getting 53,200 for what? The AI, the weekly output after 10 weeks. It's 53,200. So I move on to the B part. So I move on to now the AI, weekly output after 10 weeks. So we are moving to the II, the total production during that 10 weeks. So II. Total production. During 10 weeks. So we have the formula to be Sn is equal to n over 2 bracket open 2a plus n minus 1. We have our d here. We have this. Now the n 10 was given the question as 10. A, which is our first term, 190,000. 190,000. Now the common difference is minus one five two zero zero is two zero. Initially I was using one zero, that's why I corrected it at that side. So it's two zero. So now S N. So where is ten? N is ten over two. I have this two. A is one ninety thousand. One ninety. One ninety thousand. Okay. Plus N. N is 10 minus 1. There is minus 1, 5, 2, 0, 0. I have this. So 2 goes here, 1, 2 goes here, 5. And now 5 into brackets. And 2 times 190,000. 2 times 190, 1, 2, 3. I'm getting 380,000. Sorry, 380,000. Okay. Now there's a plus here. 1 minus 10, I get a 9. Minus. So this. So we have this 5, 380,000. Now 9 times minus 1, 5, 2. Zero, zero. 9 times minus 1, 5, 2, zero, zero. What am I getting? Minus 1, 3, 6, 8, zero, zero. After this. So I'm going to get 5 to bracket. 380,000 minus 1, 3, 6, 8, zero, zero. I'm getting this. 
So five times that's ten five. What am I getting? I'm getting one two one six zero zero. So with the I I total production during ten weeks has given us this. That is the figure we are going to get for the A I I. So we move on to the B part. Calculate the weekly reduction. If the production should be scaled down from one ninety thousand to zero in twelve what, weeks. So I'm moving on with the B part. The B part of the price is that calculate the weekly reduction. So we move on to the B part. Calculate the weekly reduction. If the product should be scaled down from 190,000 to zero in 12 weeks. So B scaling down. Scaling down from 190,000. Zero in twelve weeks. So with this particular question, the B part, they didn't stay which calculate for total output. I got it. They said we should just calculate the weekly reduction by using a normal output formula. T n is equal to a plus into bracket n minus one t. Now let's check. Were we given total number of outputs in the question? No. So Tn is equal to what? Zero. And moreover, the question even states that scaling down from 190,000 to zero. So this is the understanding of the B part. Scaling down from 190,000 to zero, meaning that when we are done calculating the total number of outputs, sorry, we are calculating, when we are done calculating the number of outputs, let's equate it to what? Zero. That's the meaning of the question. Calculate a weekly reduction if the product should be scaled down from 190,000 towards zero. So at the end, we are equating it towards zero. Okay, so Tn is giving us what zero. Okay, so there are two meanings we are supposed to consider here. Tn was not given, I would have it down to zero. And the question is also explaining to us that we should scale down, sorry, scaling down from 190,000 to zero. So meaning, when we are down at this, we should equate it towards zero. Okay. So first term, 190,000. Next question, 190,000. Now, n, number of things was given the question as 12. With the B part of the question, they didn't give us any common difference. So common difference, so there's a question mark, we're not giving common difference. The common difference was for the A, I, and I, I. The B part of the question is a different question altogether. So the B part has no common difference. So with the B part, there is no common difference. We are going to find for what the D. So now T N is zero. A one ninety thousand plus N is twelve minus one D. We have zero is equal to one ninety thousand plus. This is giving us eleven D. Now I want to find this. So we move this to this side. Minus one ninety. Is equal to 11. We are finding for D. So we divide both sides by the coefficient of D, which is 11. Or 190,000. This is 11. This moves out. We have D to be. Let me go to 90. We have D to be minus 170. To seven two point seven three. So the B part calculate a weekly reduction if the production should be scaled down from one ninety thousand to zero to twelve weeks. One might say, okay, why is that with the D we are getting a negative figure? Because I know with difference, I'm not supposed to get a negative figure. We are getting a negative figure for the difference because of the question the B was trying to explain. But you say that calculate a weekly reduction. And we know reduction means negative. Additional means positive. So mean that at the end, with the difference, you are going to get what? A reduction. So meaning with the difference, you should get what? A negative figure. That's the question demands of what? 
the B part. So the weekly reduction. If the production production is skewed down from one ninety thousand to zero in twelve weeks come come thus one seven two seven two point seven three that's all so the be part best I'll go about it I'll urge you guys to go to this question thoroughly so that you get an in-depth understanding about how we go about this type of question always take note reduction it's negative Reduction, well, or reduce, it's negative. Additional is what's positive. Okay, so that is all of our series and sequence so far. Thank you guys for watching my YouTube videos. I would urge you guys to please subscribe, share my videos, like, and comment as well. Thank you all once again. My name is Denuki Tekeli. Thank you all for watching Denuki tutorial. Bye.